time to tune in. Not another sports center. It's a movement. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Got my two wonderful co-hosts in the house with me tonight. Got Mr. Mike Williams and Adrian Campbell. What's going on, fellas? Hey, man, what's going on? Glad to be here. It was popping up, Doug. Yes, sir. Hey, we're we going to get into it today. If you love the Washington football team, put on your seatbelt because we got some big news for y'all. Um, Someone got paid today. Someone got lots and lots of money, and it ain't even Friday. Adrian Campbell, Soup, take it away. And Jonathan Allen uh, and the Washington football team, they just closed on a four-year, $72 million extension uh, with $30 million guaranteed. Uh, this just come in probably in the last 20 minutes, so the full details of the, of the actual extension aren't released yet. Um, but Ian Rappaport did put that out there. I think it's, uh, ESPN is putting it out there. Um, Washington football team looking to keep that defensive front intact for years to come, um, taking out, you know, one of their big pieces uh, along that line, knowing that eventually, you know, here in the next, uh, we'll, we'll see how he performs this season and next season, but they're probably going to end up trying to pay Chase Young early. Um, so I think this move is an effort to get ahead of that inevitable contract. I love it. I love it. And, and, and what's nice is that yeah, 72 million for your extension. Some people may may be upset with that. Some people and some people in, in um, Washington football team, you know, that the fan base may even be split with that. But this guy is an integral part of that defense. You know, when you have guys like Chase Young coming up, man, Montez Sweat doing his thing. I mean, it's you want to keep as many pieces as you are because the Washington football team, it's a team that I love to talk about is they're going to be running the table in the NFC East, not the Cowboys, not the Giants, not the Eagles. It's not me being biased. That's just what it is. And you want to keep all your pieces there. Jonathan Allen, this is a awesome, awesome, awesome signing. I think Jonathan Allen was the biggest beneficiary of the signing. I think he benefited more than Washington because um, he has two sacks in his career, and that's a lot of money for an interior pass rusher that is essentially, again, he is the anchor of that D-line, the middle of that D-line, but he and he's a phenomenal run stopper. Like, I'm not hating on that at all, but to pay that kind of money for somebody uh, when I feel like you could easily draft another run stopper, easily sign somebody that stops the run, maybe not on par as, you know, to what he does, but you know, like you guys just said, you still got to pay Montez Sweat, Chase Young, et cetera. Yeah. Those contracts, I think this could affect maybe get keeping all those guys together because of the amount of money they paid him. So um, again, he's a great player. I just think for him to not be a pass rusher at that position, that's an overpay. I mean, Aaron Donald, DeForest Buckner, you know, Chris Jones, those are kind of the cream of the crop. Um, money like that for those guys, great. But like we signed somebody who, puts a better stats in the run and against the pass and Shelby Harris and it costs half of his contract. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that while I understand it, I thought it was a bit of an overpay for somebody that you can replace with all the other pieces they have on that line that are more important. Time to tune in. Now another sports center. It's a movement.